about 95% of infections in children are through mother-to-child transmission during pregnancy, delivery, and breastfeeding. Against this backdrop, the Minister of Health is renewing efforts to curb the HIV infections in children. It has launched an antiretroviral therapy regimen called Option B+. And we shall be giving the antiretrovirals to all HIV-positive pregnant women from three and a half months of pregnancy, and they will take these drugs for life. To the born baby, antiretroviral syrups shall be given for six weeks, which is a big relief compared to what has been happening before. HIV-positive mothers have to embrace these interventions if results are to be achieved. We have already enrolled some clients on option B+. Plus. Mm. Yeah. Many countries have taken on option B+, plus since WHO recommended it in 2012 as the third beta option to A and B, under which an HIV-infected mother stops taking ARVs shortly after delivery when their immunity improves. History will blame us if Uganda continues to have children who are sick. Now for a period of two years, the Swedish International Development Agency, SIDA, will invest about 16 billion shillings, about 6 million US dollars, to help with eliminating HIV in children in 19 districts, to be implemented by Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation and UNICEF. The US government already offered the country 65 billion shillings, an equivalent of 25 million US dollars, for the Option B Plus program, and will continue giving 30 billion shillings, about 15 million US dollars each year, for the next five years. This is when the ministry is expected to have covered the whole country. All of us share a commitment to ensuring that no Ugandan child is born HIV positive, that no child is compelled to begin life with a burden that no child should ever have to bear. With all the measures and the money put in to fight new infections in children, the Minister of Health and the First Lady, Janet Museveni, insist on prevention against HIV by use of the available preventative methods including abstinence, being faithful to one partner, condom use, amongst other preventative measures. Even though we know that we now have retroviral, antiretroviral drugs, nonetheless we must tell our people and sensitize communities to know that they have the responsibility to protect themselves. They cannot just look to drugs. Anybody who's looking for drugs is a sick person. The Uganda AIDS Commission calls Option B+, the last